Now, we will install the CK Editor and IMC modules to add some editing and uploading tools to the text area. Currently, if you add a page back to our site, content, add content, basic page, you will notice that it's currently empty without any editing toolbar. So let's get started. First of all, let's navigate to the CK Editor module page. Now, earlier on, we have to download the CK Editor library separately. But under Require Component section, let's scroll down a little. It indicated that it's not necessarily starting from version 1.14. That's because the installation has been simplified and CK Editor from official CDN is available by default. Now, if we scroll down, since we are installing version 1.16, this means we just need to install the module alone. That's easy. So let's right hand click on the mouse, copy the link back to our site. Module, install module. Paste the link here and click install. Now we need to install one more module that's called IMCE for uploading image or file. Let's go to MC page. Scroll down. Right click on the mouse. Copy the link. Back to our site. Paste the link here. And click install. So let's enable the modules. Go down here. Let's check IMCE as well as CK Editor and click Save Configuration. Now let's try to add a page and see if a CK Editor appears. Content, Add Content, Basic Page. Yes, it works. Our current text format is filter HTML. Let's try full HTML. Yep, great. So in order to make the full HTML as a default text format, let's go to Configuration, Content Authoring, Text Formats. Now simply drag the full HTML to the top and save changes. Let's try one more time. Add a page, go to Content, Add Content, Basic Page. Yep. The default text format is full HTML. However, there's no IMC button here that we can upload an image or a file. So let's go to the configuration, content authoring, CK editor. Let's edit full HTML format. Click edit. Now there are many settings here we can do. We will not go through all these configuration one by one. That's not our purpose of this class. But we will do some basic setup to ensure it works properly. Now let's click on Editor Appearance. Okay, this is our current toolbar. This is IMC button that is not yet in use. To use it, we simply drag it over to the current toolbar and drop it here. Well, there's also a media embed button here. We can drag it over as well, but we may not use it, just to show you how it can be done. Now we also need to enable the plugins. Scroll down a little. Since we have chosen IMC and Embedded Media, we have to check these two options. Let's check Plugin for inserting files from IMCE, as well as plugin for inserting Drupal embedded media. Now, before saving, there's one more thing to configure. Let's scroll down again. Looking for file browser settings. Click on this. Let's choose file browser type as 
IMCE. Scroll down and click Save. Now let's a page to check. Content, Add Content, Basic Page. Yes, the two buttons displayed. Let's click on IMCE button. Yep, you can upload your image or file here. Good job. Let's move on to the next.